Okay. Are we live? It looks like it. Okay, I see people in the chat, so apparently we might be live. I'm going to turn the light on in here. Hang on. Hold on, guys. Just give us, we're working out a few technical things. A lot of technical things. <laughs> get on before. <laughs> so let's see. All right. So hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our live stream tonight. This should be a fun one. Very interesting subject. And before we get started, I don't, I will do a few greetings. But first of all, I want to thank all the members and my moderators for being here. I, I could do a long list of all my members because I haven't done a Canva little, what do you call that, a clip? in a while. I have a few new members, but I would like to mention a few. Mary Herzog, Herzog is one of my new members, fairly new. Hawkins Family Adventures. And I have tons of members that have been here for a very long time. If you're a new member, please type new in the chat so I will recognize you. And I want to thank you everybody. I can't talk tonight. Everybody for being in here. I've been very busy. I had company up till five minutes ago. <laughs> so trying to get it all organized. Um, let's see. It's snowed in. Uh, where's Pamela? Yeah. yeah it's been okay. snowing lots of places. Yeah. Okay. Let's say hello to a few people, Tanya. Okay. So let's we'll see. start with Jennifer Miller is here. And uh, Sue Mitchell. I miss your live chat tonight as at the QIA dancing. Oh, that sounds like fun. I've been enjoying Quartzite this month. Fantastic, Sue. Um, let's see. No D sightings. <laughs> well, we're sighting now. Hello, Crafty Traveler and Bree, TGIF. Uh, of course, we know Tanya's here. So, Tanmi, I thank you for being here and helping me, me out with no my life. And I want to say, Camping Katie is in the chat. In the chat. So, Katie, sit, click on that link and you can come in into the basement. I'll pull you up in a little bit. So, I want to say hello to Sandy Paws Travel and Aaron Jameson. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Bernay Fairy Dust Weep the Wild Winds is here. Paul Girardi is here from Ireland. Wow. Henry Hart. And let's see. Wanda Hutchins. Tanya and everybody else. Hello. So, um, Van City Adventures is here. Daryl and his wonderful son, Caden. Jennifer Miller. Hello. And, oh, wow, there's a lot of people in here already. So, I'm sure I'll miss people. Frank Dimatro. Hello. Henry Hart. Did I already say that? I did, huh? Okay, Dan, you take over. <laughs> I, I have to get my thoughts all cleared up. That's okay. So, tonight... If you guys don't know me, I'm Tanya from Van Life Voyages, and I do solo travel. That's what um, we're going to, we're kind of talking about safety on the road tonight. So um, Camping Katie will be up to discuss it. We're going to do like a little panel about safety and um, especially being women solo and what we can do to help each other and also anybody traveling safety tips for everybody, not just yes. women, but we are going to discuss that too. Thank you, Frank DiMatro, for your super sticker. Thank you so much. And look, here's Johnny's Journey is here. I just saw her, <laughs> along with a few other wonderful people. Hi, Johnny. I got to have dinner with Johnny and oh, Patty. Nice. And I had dinner with, Tala, Til, I think her, her name is pronounced Talia or Talia. And I uh, had dinner with Mark Wolf. So um, 
it was really nice. We got the pizza from Silly Al's and all kinds of trimmings. And we're it was so crowded there. We just decided to order to take out and brought it over here and they had a nice dinner. Oh, Hello, Diana so cool. Anders. Yeah, it was fun. Um, so and Maddie enjoyed it herself in here too she liked to be able to run around in here and play with maxi's toys oh hello mary mary i'm glad you sent me the email i hope you're doing okay today uh mary's going through a lot of medical issues so people if you have a prayer list put mary jones on your prayer list along with derek because tanya's husband is in the hospital recovering from you can talk with, about that a little bit, Tanya, if you want. Yeah. Uh, um, Derek is, um, as some of you know, we put a video out before I went to court site about um, him getting pressure sores and such. Well, <laughs> after, you know, me heavily convincing him to go get it checked out because I was doing everything in my power as a nurse to heal it up with what I was, you know, working with and come to find out there was a little bit of bone that had, um, formed like a shard, um, like a calcification. That's what ossification it's called. But anyway, it formed. So no matter what he did, it was pressing through the skin a little bit. So it was making that wound stay and not heal. So yeah. he had to get that fixed and then they had to move some muscle tissue and put muscle over it to actually pad it better. So, the risk of that happening again would go down. So, but he's gonna, he's really bored and he's stuck in there for a whole nother month. Yeah. So I'll so, go see him this next week, but I can't be there because the hospital's five hours away for about four hours for, well, it depends on <laughs> the traffic in LA, but he's in LA. So exactly. Depends on whether you, they block off your access to get to Baker. Yeah, I can't get to him anyway. The, every way out of where I live, there's no way out right now. And the um, grapevine is closed. There's snow. So basically, I can't visit him if I want to this week. So it'll have to be next week. I want to thank Paula for the Van Vita raid. Thank you, everybody, for coming over from her channel. I appreciate that, Paula. I couldn't make it to your your live stream tonight because I was having company anyhow. So as far as Mary Jones, I don't know. I don't think she would care if I tell you guys, she getting ready, getting ready to have a really major surgery again. And so hopefully it'll help with some of the problems she's been dealing with. So she really could use some really good prayer warriors. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So tonight's subject, I don't see Camping Katie. Maybe she needs a new link. You want me to drop one? Yeah. Just that this is for just camping for Camping Katie, Katie people. Um, oh, she's uh, in the basement. Never mind. She just got here. Cool. I'm going to break up Katie and let's talk about what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Let's see. I don't hear you. Turn your microphone on. Can you hear me? Now I can. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye. Well, so Campy Katie is a uh, another content creator on YouTube, and people, if you don't know her, need to check her channel out. She's gonna share one of her experiences with us tonight. Since our subject tonight is talking about safety on the road, actually on and off the road, this is why I think it's important. Because whether you're traveling or not, the points we're going to share are important when ones, whether you're living in a house or living in a vehicle or living in a tent or whatever. So, Katie, okay, why do you share with us your experience? I can give you the whole screen. I think I can. Can you do that, Tanya? Put her on full screen and yeah, let her maybe. talk. Yeah, let me see. I hear some, some kind of noise in the background. Yeah. Oh. 
Katie, if you have your YouTube side on, turn it off. Or at least turn the volume off on uh, the other side. No, so it's a problem. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We lost some, her. Yeah, there's some kind of echo. Yeah, there was. You don't hear it now, right? No. Yeah. Okay, well, since she is having trouble coming across on here, I'm going to share her experience, and you can check out her channel. Uh, let me ask everybody, is it sounding better now? Oh, there she is. She's okay, back. Again. Yeah, still there. I'm not sure what it is. the echo now. Are you hearing echo? You know what? Let me go down because maybe it's the bandwidth. Let me let me drop and you guys can talk. Okay, I don't think it is we'll with this that. phone. But okay, we can we'll try. try it. Okay. Okay, Katie, try to talk and see if we still get an echo. Okay, can you clearly now? Um, there's still a funny noise. Hmm. Oh, should should I try to do it on my Do you have you a laptop? To, I'm gonna go and do it on my laptop. Okay. All right, then you can come back in. And then Tanya can come back in. All right. Yeah. Okay. Would probably better. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Well, since what the subject tonight is travel safety and really safety, especially for solo nomads or solo people. So I've been traveling on the road for off and on for six years. And we have a lot of new people in the chat. I have wonderful moderators. Please, moderators, greet everybody as they come in because I can't catch everybody when I'm sharing a discussion. So I think it would be better if you can greet them for me. I would appreciate that. So I'm going to share my experience while we're waiting for Katie to get set up. About um, three and a half years ago, I had a situation where I really had nobody. And I, would, I was in an RV, not an RV park, a campground in Ajo, off-grid. And I broke my back. When I broke my back, I had no friends and nobody close by to help me. So I was laid out on the ground. I was very blessed because I managed to crawl from outdoors up the step on my cargo trailer, into the cargo trailer, to where I could reach my phone on the bed. I managed to call the one person I did have a phone number of there in the campground, but they were like several miles away from me. So he finally came and he called 911. And if, he ha if I had not had that phone number, God knows how long I would have been laid out with nobody to help me. It was a very scary experience. And things ha happened that to people like that all the time. And all I can say is, the first thing I want to say is, we always need to have somebody that we keep a connection with and keep in touch with on a regular basis. Yes. So if something does happen, and they haven't heard from us for a week or a few days or whatever. They will start checking up on us and make sure we're okay. Because I could have died there by myself 
with nobody to help me. Yeah. And people need to like, if for people you trust only like us or, or, you know, Katie or Derek, I always send him my locator. Like you can turn your locator on, on your phone and give it to per people while you're traveling certain people that you trust so that they can see where you're at. If they don't hear from you. There are several, several free apps like yeah. on Android phone. You can use, I think it's called life. 360 or live 360 or follow me and only allow the people you trust to have exactly. that access to that. So I think I'm sure there are other apps. So if people in the chat want to know about other apps like that, please Google maps will do it. That. Google maps will uh, do it too. You can send your location oh. to on Google Maps okay. to people you trust too. It's real easy. Right. Okay, Katie's back in the downstairs. Let's see if it's working better this time. So okay. let me there we go. Yay! Sounds good. It's good. Yay. Much can better. Me? Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Yes. Good deal. Yes. Hey, Ta hey Tanya. <laughs> perfect. Hey. perfect. Okay, you want to lower your camera a little bit so your head doesn't get a cut off. There it goes. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Okay, what I'm going to do is give you full screen. I think I can try to do this. Let's see. Oh, no. Uh, she says, oh, no. <laughs> Just well, you don't Just want to do it. All right, I will stay here. Let yeah, you yeah. Talk. Okay. So go ahead and share your experience with us, Katie, because people need to hear this. Well, um, during court site time when everybody was gathering there, um, this group I was with, um, we stayed in one spot an extended length of time. So we broke the rules. We were wrong. But we didn't, you know, stop anyone else from being able to camp because there was plenty of places, okay? Okay. And we noticed this van that was in the day use only area. And this van just sat there and sat there, like no activity or anything. And I think because we did kind of break the rules and stay for the extended length of time, we noticed it more. Okay. Then somebody just come in for a couple of weeks or a few nights and going. And um, so I told D about it. And D was like, Katie, you have to go to that van and see if somebody is sick or they need something. And I was getting ready to leave to come home. And one thing led to another and I did not make it over there. But my group did. They went over there. Two of them went over there to check on them. And um, there was a skeleton in the bed. So that person had been there maybe a year. And nobody checked yeah. and the van had been sitting there the whole time. In a day use yeah. only area. So, so you would think... Change. You would think the rangers would. We have BLM rangers that supposed to check the area. Some reason they never said anything or checked on that person. No. But don't assume they do. So people, this experience is a prime example of somebody could have used help and they never yeah. got any help. Nobody knew they were there. That's and right. so uh, apparently, hopefully, now the family uh, family will have closure. I guess yeah. nobody went looking for them. Maybe they didn't even know where to look for them. Who knows? But exactly, exactly. Yeah. They probably didn't have a clue where to even begin to call for help to send. So out this a body was completely decomposed. No smell. No thing. Nothing, right? Nothing. So my friend Marla said they were, she and Darren were there when they opened the van. I'm not clear if they had to, how they opened it, if it was unlocked yeah. or what. Right. But when they opened <clears throat> it, there, there was absolutely no smell. It was yeah. 
finished. It's been a, like at least nine months to a year to yeah. be, have that body in that kind of condition. It, so it people, was, yeah, there's a lot of single people, even in groups. I've been camping with people and I have had days where I just felt bad. I couldn't get out of my truck. It's important to, to check on your friends, even in a group. You don't yeah. see somebody come outside for a few days, you might want to holler. Okay, maybe, maybe don't go pounding on the door and scare yeah. them. But holler, what I told Katie, is to holler from a distance and see if it can get somebody's attention. Yes, it's not proper etiquette to invade people's space. But in a situation like this, if somebody's sick, they are going to be very glad you did. Believe me. Yeah, I'd rather somebody be upset with me yeah. than to not, you know, go outside of my little box and try to see if I could help them. In fact, a couple days ago, I got a call from another person I know on YouTube. They asked me if I knew about Letty. A lot of people in this uh, chat know who live in life with Letty is. She's an elderly woman with very serious rheumatoid arthritis. She can barely function on her own. So apparently this person had seen her vehicle in a parking lot here in Courtside somewhere. And she asked me to go check on her. So I was in Parker that day. So I told her on my way home, I would stop by and see if she was still in that place. She recognized the van and she recognized the wheelchair on the back of the van. But she didn't have time to check her for some reason, whatever reason it was. So on my way home, I did drive over there and check all the parking areas behind the gas stations around McDonald's area. And she was not there anymore. But the thing is, we have to look out for each other. Yeah. If we don't, who will? My Anything family. can happen. Yeah. All my family lives up in Washington. Most people on YouTube that know me know of my sister, Anne. And somebody has, somebody of my friends knows how to contact her. She, they know she goes to other people's live streams like Paula and Tanya's and Johnny's live streams. And she, so somebody could say, guess what? These blah, 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 whatever's wrong with me. They can inform her. If she didn't hear from me for a few weeks or see me on YouTube, she would be calling and she would have somebody out to look for me, believe me. But at least somebody could tell her, you know? Um, yeah, so <laughs> even what is Derek, and, and Derek apparently is in the chat right here. Look at that, yeah. Derek is. Derek's in the chat from his hospital oh, bed. I hope you're feeling okay, Derek. <laughs> that turkey, yes. So, would yeah. one of my moderators please put Cabby Katie's channel in the chat? If you guys don't know oh, her, thank you. please go check thank her you. channel out. She doesn't post a lot, but she does post. So lately, yeah, awesome. a little bit more. Yeah. She's been posting more. Yeah. She's yeah. been posting She has more, more lately. Yes. I, um, I am just so. <laughs> that's me. That's my personality. <laughs> that's all right. You do what you do. It's your channel. Well, do what you want. You know, when I was in court site, though, I could not post a lot and take a lot of good videos because I didn't have any power. Yeah, I was yeah. a pioneer woman. <laughs> and I had a good time and survived. But like Kaylee my... said, Kaylee said, I believe we are, are our brother's keeper. Yes, we yes. are. I think so. So yeah. let's see. You live in a single story, Derek. <laughs> yeah, and even Derek has to have somebody contact him because he would be, he's known to dump his trailer on top of him in the wheelchair. Yeah. 
We've had to call, I've had to call the fire department on that guy and don't even ask how many times he's been stuck in the wheelchair places. Yes. <laughs> so I want to look in the chat and see if there are other ideas. I will say one idea is always make sure you, there's some ways to signal people if you don't want to be disturbed. But still, even if you have, say I put a, a red flag and say, don't bother me when this flag is up. But if somebody sees that flag for two or three days, I would hope they would check on me. Just because I have the flag up doesn't mean something not wrong. So let's yeah, I be feel a like friend. I feel like if um, people, if you're not sick and people know you haven't been sick and they haven't seen you at least once a day and you're in a group, then they should check on you. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. tell them I'm sick and I need to rest, that's different, you know? Yes. And, you so know, we even would like to look at the name of that one app is Life 360. So family knows where you are. Yes. I know, like my son, we communicate a lot when I'm on the road. And so I always send him a pen, like where yes. I'm going to be sleeping. Because you can be in the middle of a national forest. And just because you say you're, you know, in Kaibab Forest or something like that, that doesn't tell anybody anything. No. No, so that's right. It's kind of good if you could send a pen to someone. Yeah. Have someone you trust. And here's another suggestion, people. Most people have a place on a wall or something near your door. Put your emergency contacts on a piece of paper paper so yeah. if somebody yeah. does get in there they would know who to call that's because, right that's a very you good know? idea or yeah. and also put in your name of your doctor or uh whatever say where your medical id is so they can yeah. find it if they need that is it. such um, an excellent idea yeah, yeah. so you want to make sure that if somebody does find you in bad shape, they know to what to do. If you have allergic reaction to certain medications, some people could die if they got the wrong, um, wrong medication. So make sure right. if you have those kinds of things that it would kill you. Or asthma or diabetes, something they should know because right. they could they could then give you sugar if they know you're diabetic or whatever if somebody right. finds you yeah. something like exactly. that. Exactly. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that's um let's see if I'm looking for other suggestions. Yeah, I was looking for yes. any questions in the chat. Yeah. So for the most part, they aren't gonna check on people until the rent or mortgages due at the beginning of the month. So what Jennifer's saying, she's talking about more like living in sticks and bricks, but the same thing applies. If you know your neighbors, I walk their dog every day or uh, several times a day, or you know every week they put out their trash, or you know that they have a routine that go they go shopping once a week or whatever and you don't see them for a while you need to go check on your neighbors whether they're in a house or a vehicle uh because that's being a good neighbor yes a lot a lot of communities have neighborhood watch so if you see a situation that's going on around you or you hear something that you are alerted to it. You need to call somebody or report it. Say, this person normally walks their dog every day. I haven't seen them in three days. Yeah. Call the police. Okay, so what? Maybe a wasted call. But better that than nothing. Um, Go pound on their door. See if they're yeah. on vacation or something. Exactly. You can I always live. make an excuse. I'm the neighbor. I just... Want to make sure you're okay? It, do you need me to pick up anything from the store I'm going today? Yes. Or whatever. Make a reason. Yeah. So I, I live in like a duplex and we've lived here 
Um, 12 or 14 years, a long time. And my yeah. neighbor is a single lady in her very late seventies and she's pretty much homebound. And so that's my son and I, we, we always are checking on Sue and we yep. take her trash yep. out and bring her mail to her. Um, she couldn't be independent if she didn't have those little things, you know? Yeah. So, so. Kaylee makes a point there, uh, Katie. She said, you can call 911 and ask them to do a wellness check. Oh, true. That's a good idea. Yes. Somebody, yeah. That's a really good idea. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a question for Katie here from Crafty Traveler. She wants to know if you got your Blue Eddie sent back, Katie. My Blue Eddie? Oh, my gosh. You guys, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they, they gave me the um, <clears throat> label to send it back, all that, right? Good. Blue Eddie provided that. I took it to the UPS store. I have my receipt and it was February 2nd. And what's the date today? The 25th. I've not heard right. one word from Blue Eddie. And from the tracking number, it was delivered and received. So I had to call my bank again because when I was in court site, I could, I thought I could just go to Blue Eddie and exchange the, the battery, you know, mm -hmm. because I had the box and the cigarette lighter adapter here at my house. So I yeah. knew I couldn't just return it for a refund without that cigarette. Without the rest. Yeah. yeah. So I had to wait till I got home because Blue Eddie said no. They would not exchange anything out. It had to go be processed through their Las Vegas warehouse. So as soon ah, as I got home, figured. yeah, I, I got it boxed up, took it down there, UPS, um, packaged it in front of me, put the labels on, gave me my receipt. I never still, my bank is aware of it again. So they had to open another um, investigation. Yeah, investigation, like, and they've temporarily given me my money back, but of course I'm not touching it till I know what Blue Eddie's trying to pull. But they, Blue Eddie has not sent me an email, a text, a phone call, anything, even acknowledging that they received it. But the tracking number says it all. You right. Know? Um, but like Amazon, eBay, anybody else you return something to, they immediately send you a text. We got it. We got it. You know? Yeah. So I don't know what's up with Blue Eddie. I don't either. I don't know. They're hard because it it's the company is a, is a Chinese company. It's hard to contact their supports, uh, support personnel, I guess. So, but eventually they used to get around to do what they should do, but Sometimes it's a long, long process. I'm glad I'm not in a hurry. Yeah. You know, so I, I think this Randy was responding to the comments about Letty. Letty uh, was in courtside and she did put out a few videos. I haven't seen a video on her in about at least a month. So I don't know what has happened to her. I know she was camping with people. And the, apparently, according to Randy, she was in the, the, their camp without any movement. And a friend and I checked on her. I didn't know it was Letty until I, after I met her. Yes. So hopefully she she's okay. Um, I hope so. Maybe she was resting up because, you know, that's a hard disease to live with. Believe me, that's a bad one. Yes. And she has it really, really bad. So... Bernay says, leave it and in case of coma or dead, instruction hanging in your rig of who to call, etc. Yes. So that's true. Let's see. And if you put in your cell phone, ICE, that's what Kathleen Klein was talking about. ICE, I-C-E, yeah. means in case of emergency. That's what the police okay. officers look for. 
Oh, I okay. never knew that. Yeah, so you would emergency respondents will thumb thumb through there if, if there's nobody around, and they will look yeah. for that in case of emergency number. That yes. that's a great idea. I like attaching it inside the van and then yeah. having it in your phone too. Yeah. Because, okay, so like the police <laughs> officers that came out when they found the deceased body, they told um, Marla and Darren that they also had found another body. Mm -hmm. And they, now this is kind of strange. So the whole story is not there. Um, that it was a skeletal thing, but it was in parts, like the coyotes had gotten it and they figured somebody had been hiking. Mm. But if that was the case, wouldn't there be a abandoned vehicle there? Because they said it was unidentified. Hmm. I don't know. Tan, you had a story too, didn't you? Didn't you tell me about a story? My um, friend found my friend's husband found a body in the desert and it was buried. It was under dirt. He happened to be just walking and he came up on a uh, like a femur sticking out of the dirt and he took a picture and sent it to his wife. And she's like, no, that looks like a human bone call. She called it in, I think, for him. And there happened to be a reward for that person. They were missing and there was a reward and they got the reward. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You never know who might be do. looking for these people. Yeah. People were looking and for this person. And so that's let's why hope, it was a reward. Yeah. Let's hope and pray we find them before they pass away, before that comes yeah. to yeah. that kind of a situation. And the only way that's going to happen is if we watch out for each other. So I agree see. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Always stay sure. in touch with somebody and like Derek knows he can, um, somebody had asked, I saw a question. Somebody had asked if there's a free app. Cause I don't know about that, that 361, if it's free or not, but yeah, I you think can do it, it is. I just do it on Google maps and you can, um, give people your location and it's, it'll say yeah. as long as it's open, yeah. as long as you have it going, they can see where you're at. Or is this just for 24 hours? It'll tell you like, just let it for 24 hours or keep it on. And so yes. he can check and be like, Oh, she's in this parking lot. <laughs> yeah. He'll call me and say, I see you <laughs> or whatever. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you know, that's comforting so, for Derek to know where you're at. Yeah. That you're safe. I would encourage in anybody that's sitting in the chat, please make sure before you go to bed tonight to make a list of people you need to contact in case they need to know where you're at. Also make a list to put on, yeah. at least write a note to yourself to do this later. Make a note to yourself to put up emergency contacts and where you're going to put in, where somebody will see it. Um, I have yeah. a contact person all the time. I have Tanya. I keep in touch with her on a regular yeah. basis. There are, are other YouTubers I keep in touch with. My manager here in the park is also very good because she checks on all the residents here on a regular basis. And she found a dead person in their rig once because only reason she found them because she didn't see them for a while. And she went and banged on the door and they found them. Anyhow, so yeah. At so, least they were found. Right, yes. Um, she, does, she does come around. I've seen her multiple times coming around and just yeah. saying hi to people and stuff. Some yeah. people think she's too busy uh, going around to people, but one thing is for sure. She's aware of what is going on around here. Yeah. So I'm yeah. grateful for that. She's a very good manager. Yeah, her rules are sometimes a little strict, but that's okay. If I know I can count on her. That's what's really important. Uh, you darn right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but you have so many people, D, and you too, Tanya. You know, y'all are in touch with so many people. Somebody would know. 
about well, the, the funny thing is, you would think so, Katie, but there's been times where I had no contact except YouTube with anybody. Okay. So that's not at all a sure thing. If somebody doesn't see me post, if I know I'm going to be a while, I'm not going to put out a video, say, a week. I'll try to do a community post so people yes. will know. But if I don't do that, maybe some needs, needs to ask, is the okay? Yeah, because, uh, it, because sometimes we both get busy and we, we're just, you know, doing our own thing. Everybody does, even with your own kids. Right. You know, right. everybody has life, so you might not see them or check on them or talk to them in a week, you know, or whatever. Some It just happens. There's True, an, yeah. There is an old saying, people. It's called assume, which means make an ass out of you and me. True Bottom that. line is never assume anything. Don't assume that if somebody's fine if you haven't checked on them on, once in a while. I, it's true. I don't contact all my friends all the time. Yeah. But I try to keep in touch with them periodically so they know I'm okay. Uh, and I try to do updates on my YouTube channel. So the people, even, even if I think it's a boring video, people are not interested in hearing this stupid stuff, okay? But at least they know I'm okay. They know you're so, okay. That's right. You know, and yes. a little text. You can just send a text to somebody if you don't want right. to you know, talk or whatever. Just send a text and be like, I'm fine. I'm just under the weather, you know. Yes, okay and sometimes, right. sometimes we lose touch with the people we used to contact all the time. Well, guess what? Maybe it's harder to get back to them. So maybe we have to be the one that reaches out. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we have to be the one that says not being stubborn and say, well, they know how to call me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's our obligation to maintain our friendships, too. Yeah, so, it goes both ways. Yes. So, um, tonight I want to make sure, uh, before we end this up tonight, I want to make sure that anybody is getting closer to their thousand subscribers, please put CC and the number of you subscribers you have in the chat. If these people are trying to get to their thousand a subscriber monetized. So if you don't know some of these people that put in CC content creator and how many subscribers you have, if you have less than a thousand, and then people can go and check out your channel. Uh, so put the CC and how many subscribers you have, if you have less than a thousand right now in the chat and people would take a note of these people that put this in here to who needs a uh, new subscribers uh i used to do this much better but <laughs> it's yeah, been a while guys, we make a list i haven't you know, i need to get back to it too i have a whole list of um watch our you know watch people's channels and play it to give them some and watch hours and for watch hours, if you need uh, just a few hours, say you have 3,000 watch hours to get monetized, you have to have 4,000 watch hours. So if you have 3,000 or more and you need more help to get to your watch hours, type BB, which is binge watching, in the chat and people that are interested, interested can go and watch one of your playlists. So yeah, make sure you wants. have the playlist because that's easy just to keep it looping. Right. Did if you they read don't have a playlist? Even if they don't have a playlist, you can go through and watch their videos for oh, a while. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So let's this community is really good about helping each other. So I want to encourage anybody that doesn't know somebody in the chat. And you think you can help their channel, go and check the, your channel out. If they need watch hours, if they type BB in the chat, they need watch hours. So go check them out. If they type CC in the chat with less than a thousand, 
subs, go check their channel and make you maybe you could check their if you like it, subscribe to them. I okay, see. Let's see. I saw Crafty Traveler needed some watch hours. Okay. So remember to go to her channel and watch some video. You can here's what you can do also. If you're busy or whatever, you can put it on a different computer or phone and turn the volume down to like two, not all the way off, but low, and then you can run it and yeah, they yeah. will get the watch hours from that. Right. And not only watch hours, because they I just also rubbed look her. And I'm just also going to tell you the channels that are already monetized. They still have to maintain their watch hours. The way that monetized channels make money on YouTube is people watch their ads. If you're playing their playlist, they will run the ads. So yeah. they'll get credit for you running their ads. And so, it's called the buddy system. Like we, a lot of us team up and we'll run each other's playlists and it helps us both. It helps both creators, you know, um, right. to run each other's playlists then it, it's like a buddy system. So if you think you got benefit from this live stream tonight, please type great, G-R-E-A-T, in the chat. Okay. And once we do that, I'm going to have to try to pull up the StreamYard tool. Uh, I want to give Tim a prize. Thanks, for posting that link. Thank you, Tim. I'm going to give Thank away... You, a ten dollar Amazon gift card to the person that I that comes up. And let me see if I can even pull up the Streamyard tool. If I find it, if I can. Streamyard tool. Hang on. I haven't done this in a while, so give away. And if you'd like to give Dee a um, little tip for this live stream, on PayPal, she gets the whole amount as opposed to um, doing it a different way. So if you guys want to use the PayPal link, I'm sure she will appreciate it very much. Where is that? I can't even find it. <laughs> StreamYard. I don't know, Tanya. <laughs> well, you want me to do out. it? I can find it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's do it here. Because I have it bookmarked on mine. I used to have it bookmarked. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I see so, people are typing, typing in great. G -R -E very just, she needs some hours and subscribers too. Oops. Fairy dust. Okay. Good to know. Sorry. Now it's taking me a second. <laughs> Same thing. It doesn't want to come up. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, so everybody that types the word great, G-R-E-A-T, in the chat will be eligible, eligible to be drawn in this uh, drawing. Can you share that on your screen, Tanya? Yeah, let me share it. Okay, Katie, I'm going to drop you down. Thank you for coming up and helping us out. Thank you. You two ladies have a beautiful night. And thank you to okay. everybody in the chat. Okay, bye-bye. Well, I'm trying to share the screen. All right. Share screen. Got it. Tuck these out. Okay. Okay, can you see it? There it is. Okay. okay. So 33. I think it's been long enough. How many we have right there? 33. Okay. So this is for a $10 Amazon gift card. And the winner will email me at dluckton1 at gmail.com. I'll put the banner in the chat on the bottom of the screen in a minute here. So go ahead and draw. Good luck.
Oh, look, Jennifer Miller. Jennifer Miller. All right. Okay, Jennifer, let me put your my email address. Let's see. Show. My email address is on the bottom of the screen here. So just email me, say, I want the $10 Amazon card, and I'll get that out to you right away. All I have to have is your email address, so it'll show up when you email me. So congratulations for your win. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I think that's pretty much I what I had. I want to show you here, Sage. Let's look at her. <laughs> She's so precious. She's I love our... I love our, your little shorts. <laughs> She's uh, been a good girl this entire stream, I have to say. Very good. Yes, yes. Nine years years ago, Mary stopped smoking. Wow. And, and I think uh, Sandra Hawkins Adventure, Hawkins Family Adventure, has uh, about uh, 30, a month now. A month. 33 days, smoking. I think. Yeah. Pretty close. So, yes. Yes, okay. that's, oh. she's a little beagle. <laughs> Okay, here's another yeah. comment from Wee Wee Mike. Go to your contact and push on one and push edit. Then scroll down and you can add them as emergency contact. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And I want to thank all my moderators here tonight. I do appreciate all your uh, help on my channel. I don't do live stream very often anymore. So I will be trying to do a live stream on the first and third Saturdays of each month at seven o'clock my time. And it'll show up at whatever time yours is in your, when you see the thumbnail, it'll tell your, tell you your time zone. So I hope you'll keep coming and I thank you all for being here. Yeah, thanks for hanging with us. And thank you, Tanya and Katie for helping me. You're welcome. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys.